Well, 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 it's almost October, the scariest month of the year. You know what that means, right? That's right. It's time for Unity's board of directors to get on a private jet and smoke an unfathomable amount of crack. At least, that's what it seems like, given the kinds of decisions they've been making recently. And the upside of that, the down, down low of that, the summary of that is, uh, it's time to change engines. If you're still using Unity, now is a good time to stop. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, I stopped using Unity quite a while ago because I knew this would happen. When the venture capitalists took control of Unity, when the board of directors became stuffed with uh, investment bros, I knew that Unity was never going to become any better. It was on its way down, and that's exactly what's happened. It's now at the waterline and still sinking. I still think that the Unity engine is pretty accessible. It might be the most useful engine for an indie dev of the sort that I usually play games from, but there are externalities, like the small fact that it's run by the worst people imaginable, people who will make bad decisions because they want to pocket some more cash, and that's what's happening here. Even if they walk this decision back, they're going to make another decision just like it next year, and the year after, and the year after, and we know that because they made decisions just like it last year, and the year before, and the year before, and the year before. So, if you're trying to get off that sinking ship, where are you going to go? There are two very Unity-like engines that I generally recommend. The first is what you're looking at now. This is Unreal. Unreal is used for small games like Fortnite, and it is uh, quite good. It's free for the sort of for the sort of revenue levels we're talking about on this channel. It's free. If you do make a lot of money, you pay a percentage of it. But uh, it's got two major advantages over Unity. The first major advantage is that you can actually create your game in full without ever doing any actual coding. You can use node-based coding like this. Many non-coders find this much more approachable than, you know, lines of code, and it works fine. There are a few things that if you're trying to really stretch and do strange stuff with your game, you may need to break down and actually write C++ code, but for most people and most games, you don't. You can do everything in Blueprint here. It's, it's just fine. This makes it uh, very appealing to anybody that doesn't want to spend their day physically coding lines of C++. The other thing about Unreal that really helps is that it is actually in use, and by that I mean that the company that develops Unreal is bound to Epic Games, which develops games in Unreal. So a lot of games are published in Unreal by the people who are associated with Unreal. So it's an end-to-end -end complete system. Unity doesn't make their own games, and when they try, they give up. And that's because, or that has caused, the fact that you really have a hard time completing your games in Unity. Once you get to a certain point, all of the support stops, so the engine kind of fades away and you're left kind of shrugging about how to actually get the final nails into this little structure you're creating and set it up so you can release it. That doesn't really happen in Unreal. Unreal is end-to-end -end complete, and that's really nice. As you approach the end of your game, you're doing testing, you're trying to figure out you know, how to get it on a console and stuff like that, and you realize it's just going to flow the whole time, oh, that's a great feeling. But there is one tiny little problem with Unreal. It's owned by Epic. Epic is one of the few companies that is actually less ethical than Unity. Epic is a games company that makes the majority of its billions and billions of dollars of revenue off of child gambling. And you might have a problem with that. I do. I still use it because the uh, uh, only real other option is Godot, and when I was looking into it, Godot was not yet ready for prime time. Godot is an open source engine, so it's not run by child gambling rings, and you never have to pay them anything if you don't want to. But Godot isn't nearly as feature complete as Unreal, and you will have to actually code in C Sharp. That's not a huge deal if you're coming in from Unity, because Unity also, you have to code in C Sharp. But Godot has some architectural constraints that are very weird, and I have no idea why they made those decisions, and that's something that really, really bothers me, but I am a huge nerd. 
so it might not bother you. I do recommend that you try Godot first. Go download it. It's free. It's not very big. And uh, you can try and set some stuff up, see how that works for you. And if the architectural constraints don't make your eyes bleed, just use Godot. It's perfectly fine. For the kinds of small games that the people who watch me are likely to make, Godot should work great. Unreal is a much heavier hitter. It's got a much smoother pipeline and access to more features. But, I mean, it's not immune to the kind of bullshit that happened at Unity. It's at some day, some day, the venture capitalists, or at least the gambling addiction people, are going to come ruining Unreal just like they ruined Unity. It might not be for 10 years, but it's coming. So make whatever decisions you want with that. I'll put links to both Godot and Unreal down below, although you can just search for them on the internet. Uh, there are a lot of other engines, though. If you are not trying to make a game that is like this, you might want to try those other engines out. Do some searching around. You'll find that there are a ton of really fun, smaller engines that are hyper-focused on one specific kind of game or one specific kind of constraint. For example, I really enjoy the Pico, Eat, Pico 8 engine, which is just this really, really small, tight little engine where you make games on a virtual console, a really simple virtual console. It feels great to develop in that space, and you can, of course, distribute those games. So, take a look around, free yourself from Unity, find something that works for you. Have a good one.